I'm just going to have a, uh, a, a quick canter through a few of the ways in which um, AI is impacting the, the automotive industry and give you a few thoughts around that. One of the, uh, the, the areas where we've, we've already seen an, an amazing impact is in engineering component design. Um, with generative uh, AI and with additive manufacturing, it's, uh, it's now possible to produce components that are, that are completely unlike anything that, uh, that a, a, an individual draftsman would have put together in, in the past. We're looking here at a, a, um, a seatbelt uh, mounting bracket assembly. It would have been an assembly. It would have used eight different components. But uh, what's been created uh, over here looks more like something that's grown in, inside a, 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 an animal or, or, or a plant. But the end result is that it's, a, it's a, a single component doing the job of eight. It's 40% lighter and 20% stronger. Um, and it's got nothing whatsoever to do with traditional drafting or traditional metal bashing. It's a complete change. At the heart of, uh, of, uh, of automotive is, is, of course, the styling of vehicles. It's, it's a really important thing. And generating the, the, the style for a vehicle is something that's, that's, that's really difficult to do. There are, there are thousands of constraints that actually impact on, on how all of the 3D surfaces of, of a vehicle work together. And traditionally, that's taken whole departments to, to do that, to get from 2D sketches to, to full 3D surfaces that are fully feasible to manufacture. But in fact, now, uh, AI, utilising that level of information, can do that pretty much at, at the, the click of a button. And that's in, in itself effectively eliminating uh, whole swathes of, 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 uh, of human uh, activity necessary to do that. A big, big change. And of course, once you've got a lot of uh, uh, data that's describing what a, what a vehicle's really about and, and, and what it looks like, AI is now able to, to pick up all of that and to uh, produce uh, um, digital twins that are a, 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 an incredibly accurate representation of, of the vehicle. So, for instance, for instance, customers can, uh, can look at the vehicle, they can see it in different environments, they can see the combination of all the different options um, and that can be done directly from the data in the past that's required assembling dozens and dozens of different prototype assemblies photographing them under different lighting conditions and so on but now that's coming directly from the data a big big change and a huge improvement in the efficiency of that process and digital twins are also playing their part in the in the design of factories and in the design of the of the, the manufacturing process um, BMW themselves have now uh, uh, produced digital twins of all their factories. Um, and what that enables us to do now is to actually uh, work on the way that production processes work, use uh, virtual reality and simulation to understand the ergonomics of all the, all the processes. So without having to, uh, to con construct a real factory or uh, change a real production line, you can really understand how people are going to be able to interact with it and how it's going to work. A huge improvement. Test data analysis is something quite dear to my heart. I've done a lot of work in, in control systems design and so on. And it's always been a huge challenge as to how much can you measure? Can you actually use all the data that you get? Can you, can you drag together data from all sorts of different tests? Well, now that's amazingly uh, been tackled again by uh, AI. We're at the situation now where you can actually take a, a lot of different data files and uh, uh, put some uh, commands into chat GBT and ask it to tell you about that data. What have you got? And um, it'll generate Python scripts. And out of those Python scripts that it'll run automatically, it'll give you real insights into the data. And that's, that's just such a huge game changer, actually being able to use all the data, actually being able to access it all. And one of the biggest places that that becomes really important is in uh, autonomous vehicle test and validation. Um, 
the scope of, uh, of the functionality in, in autonomous driving is enormous and the number of possible test cases is sort of almost infinite. So to try and test and validate in the real world is just about impossible. But with a digital twin environment that can now be generated directly from test data um, and then manipulated to change the scenarios, add different weather conditions, turn what was a dry environment into a snowy environment, add actors like bulls bouncing out into roads, children running after them. It's possible to, to do that validation. And that's, that's the key to really making it possible to uh, uh, develop autonomous driving systems. And autonomous driving is actually really important. It's, a lot of people just aren't aware that about 3,500 people die on the roads worldwide every year. And pretty much all of that's down to human error. So the advent of autonomous driving and, and the functionality around it's got a real prospect of, of doing something to reduce that and reduce the hundreds of billions of dollars of costs that are associated with it. So that's a real big benefit that we can see coming down the road. Whether or not we'll actually get to the point of having a, a, a benevolent AI operating the whole world for us, well, it's probably a bit early for that right now. But certainly AI-guided management decision-making is on the cards. We've already got AIs deciding who should be hired and who should be fired. But there's a real prospect, I, I think, that we might do away with uh, some of the, the uh, ego-driven ego decision-making that actually interferes a lot with the engineering job and end up having better-run companies that make more use of their engineers. And who knows, one day we might even do away with the need for expensive CEOs and replace them with AI. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Now. <laughs>